All right, guys, this video right here is going to be sponsored by Shop Carls. You know, just got done with iCast. Lots of new baits coming out. All the stores are going to be starting to stock all these new baits and stuff like that. And the cool thing about having a Cars Club membership is you get early access to a lot of the new baits before other people do. Then you also get access to, to exclusive colors and new colors of other baits that have already been out that other people may not have access to the colors and stuff like that. So if you don't have a Cars Club membership, go over there, get one, check them out. Really cool the way they do things and becoming a member saves you so much money over the course of a year. But baits I've been ordering recently are a little bit different than normal because we're in smallmouth country now and everything changes when you get above the Mason Dixon and that's where we are now. Oh, you're ready, ain't you? You're ready, ready. I'm so proud ready. of you. Huh? I'm so proud of you already. For what? For going to St. Clair. And getting all your stuff ready. So it was weird because I actually had a lot of stuff organized like uh, literally a month ago. I got all my lines set to the side, my rods, everything for like a month ago. So then when I started packing yesterday, it's like, is this ready? Is this ready? Is this ready? Is this ready? So I was double checking and everything was ready because I had already packed. So that was cool. Pulling out. Pulling out. 12 and a half hours with a detour. We made it two states. Yep. We're in our third state of the day. Which is? Tennessee, currently. Are you from Tennessee? Um, no. No, okay. Well, we're in the third state currently. We've got a few more to go through. Three, three more to go through, probably. Don't know if we'll make it all the way there today. We'll make it really, really close. May find somewhere to catch a brown bass for a couple days before official practice starts. We got until Monday for official practice. Today's Wednesday. I think we'll, we should be up there, in my opinion, by tomorrow morning at the latest, you know? So, we better fish somewhere. Please in 600 us. feet, slight right. Slight right. So I'm going to tell y'all what really happened. All right. What? So I passed a billboard and it said like 34 miles to Bucky's, right? In a quarter mile. And Hunter was taking her Republic Way. a little nap. Hunter was taking a little nap. Are you seeing the thing? So what? I was like, all right. I'm about to get, get past it. Well, I don't know if I can get past it or not, but I might have just pulled in and surprised you with some Bucky's, you know? And then it was like 12 miles away, Hunter. Hunter awoke. She was awokened from her nap. My slumber. As soon as she popped up, billboard right there, 12 miles. Because obviously, if you're anywhere within 500 miles, I don't know, shipping distance of, <laughs> of a Bucky's, there's a billboard. So, like, sometimes it'd be like Bucky's, 394 miles away. So, yeah, one was 12 miles away. We found it. We passed 18 more billboards on the way here, about the same store, and now we're going in. So, also we had a bet how many billboards we would pass at one point and I, until I, we got there. I did a rookie number. Yeah, you did. Yeah. You do not know about Bucky's. I said there was only five though. To be fair, I said four, and Kyle took the under. Yeah, Hunter said four. I said I said under four. Cause we were. It said the, the billboard we saw said Bucky's. 12 miles. No, it said Bucky's next exit. Oh, yeah, it did. Next it did. exit. So, Hunter said, you think we'll see four billboards? I said, I, I think under four. So, we bet. And there was five more before we got to the next exit. It was like two miles. There was two on top of each other. They were everywhere. There was like a string of six billboards next and five exit. of them were Bucky's. Next exit. Hey, I ain't hating on it. Bucky's rat boat coming up 2024. Next year. Power lines, beautiful sunset. We left at about what sunrise, and now it's about sunset. Beautiful. We're coming up on a boat with boat. peepees of oh, the bass variety. Is that somebody we know? We will find out. Yesterday. Top of the 
morning. Top of the morning. Kyle, tell them about the hotel we stayed in. Hunter found one she really liked online and won't stay in, so we stayed in it. My God, I thought we... Kyle, now you know I called 1,800 hotels last night. Woo. I didn't know what was gonna happen to us last night. Okay, somebody in the comments let us know what was going on in Fort Wayne, Indiana last night. Michigan. Wait, Fort Wayne, Michigan? Yeah. I think it's Michigan. I think it was Indiana. No. It's Michigan. Okay, it's Fort Wayne something. Now we're in Auburn. I mean, we drove for like three hours and didn't even see a car. And then every hotel's booked up. Like the like, Hampton, what, what the Holiday doing? Inn? Every single hotel was booked. I think they just ran out of rooms. Like, so something happened, they ain't remodeled them or something. Because they couldn't have been people where we was at. And then tell them about the hotel we actually stayed in. I'm telling you. I thought, was gonna, I thought somebody was in there. Dracula or somebody. Dracula. Okay, so you know how in scary movies, behind the counter of the hotel, they have those little cubby holes with the keys on it? Like, every single scary movie with a hotel in it, that's what it is. They had that. And then they didn't have an elevator, it was only stairs. You know that girl on the airplane that said, I don't know, but that thing back there is not real? Yeah. That's how I felt about everybody in there. Yeah. They were not real people. They were NPCs. Or they were in a scary movie. It was, it was a weird And then there too. was like portraits on the wall and stuff that looked like out of a scary movie. It was crazy. Now I'm about to figure out if we're in Michigan or not. We're in Michigan, bro. I could have sworn when I looked up Fort Wayne last night it was Indiana. And In something with the is Indiana even up here? It's close, but Oh now look at you with your map on. Alright, we, we we were we in, in We're in Indiana. Kyle talking all that mess. I can't tell. Yep, it's Indiana. So I've heard of Fort Wayne, Indiana. A lot. But yesterday uh I thought I was in Michigan for some reason. So we stayed in Indiana. Yeah. We've never stayed in Indiana before. Yeah, right here. On the road again. Two hours left. Mm. Not bad. Catch y'all on the flip side. On the flip side, bro. What state are we in now, Mr. Wilkinger? In Michigan. What are we doing today? Hope people won't catch a bass or two. That's hope. What's height? Green or brown. You don't care? If we didn't have so much wind, I'd care. But well, we got so much wind, but I don't care. That took a while today. Not a big one, but I'm happy to have him right now. Cause I ain't caught nothing all day long. Three pounder though. Hunter was ready though. I ain't had a bite in, how, how long have we been out here? Three hours. I ain't caught one. <laughs> and then I caught one, Hunter had the camera ready. Good to go. Just a little baby. Just a little baby. Not the kind. He's like a smallmouth bass, but he's just a little bit smaller. 
För att hitta inte. That's the kind you fear to even put in your live wheel. This one ain't little. Oh my god! It's like a giant one. I thought it was bigger than that. I thought it was big, big. It ain't. Still a four. He's fat, ain't he? He built right. Somebody has uh, fizzed him. Somebody's caught him and fizzed him. See what he weighs. Four and a half. 49, I think he was. 31. 